It's fair to say that humans have a love-hate relationship with plastic. We're becoming more intolerant of it whilst at the same time we're using it more and more. The World Economic Forum says there'll be more plastic than fish in the oceans by 2050. But imagine a future where we no longer see it as a plastic plague of sorts, but instead a source of energy. If we have the plastic waste in the environments or in the ocean or buried underground, it's going to stay there for hundreds or thousands of years. So we need to find a solution to the plastic waste. And we think converting them into fuel is an excellent way to reuse it. Polyethylene is used to produce everything from food packaging to shopping bags to plastic bottles. And with an estimated 100 million tonnes of it produced annually, it seems like a pretty good idea to do something with it. So what we are doing differently is to use a so-called cloth air kim metastasis uh, strategies. So process involving the metastasis between polyethylene and the shorter air kins, which are fairly cheap and has low values. So the metastasis between the polyethylene and the shorter air kin will result in the breakdown of polyethylene into shorter air kins, which are suitable for diesel fuels. The end product could be used for a variety of purposes. In our process, we can get the oil hydrocarbons as the major products and some waxes as the minor products. The major products can be used as a fuel such as diesel. Despite criticism, the team are determined to pursue what they see as a solution to the bewildering levels of plastic waste. So, so far our technology is limited to the degradation of polyethylene. So hopefully we can develop new methods for degrading polypropylene, polystyrene and other type of plastic.